Well, thank you, Mr. Chairman. I also want to thank my colleague, uh, Mr. Golden, as well as the ranking member, Mr. Rogers, uh, for joining together in this effort uh, to add uh, needed funds to this year's uh, defense budget. I think myself, like many of us in this room, were quite disappointed when we saw the budget, when we saw a budget that sought to decommission 24 ships and only build eight, and that's just uh, one example of the shortfalls within this budget. I think that we made strides, as I mentioned earlier, in the Sea Power Subcommittee uh, to correct some of those deficiencies, and I think that adding this uh, $37 billion, um, which my colleagues have outlined, but I'll highlight uh, some additional things of particular interest to me, um, an additional $3.65 billion for an additional destroyer, one additional frigate, uh, one additional oiler, two additional expeditionary medical ships, and funding to restore five littoral combat ships and two expeditionary transfer dock ships, uh, many of those which were well uh, before their end of their service life and were being proposed to be decommissioned, as well as $2.8 billion for 21 additional aircraft. These include eight F-A-18s, two advanced Hawkeyes, five C-130s, two Ospreys, and four EC-37B compass calls. Um, in our current threat environment that we see with Russia's unprovoked aggression against Ukraine, as well as China's increased uh, aggression uh, towards Taiwan and the very vulnerable time uh, that we see within uh, this upcoming five-year window. We saw Admiral Aquilino um, testify to the Senate just a year ago that it is very likely that China could try to use force against Taiwan in the next six years. That's now five years. It's a time to grow our military, not shrink our military. I think this $37 billion is a start. I applaud the Senate uh, for their addition of $45 billion. I know we have slightly different priorities and throughout this process. Um, I hope we will end up with an agreement um, somewhere north of this 37, but I think adding this uh, to the budget, uh, at least for me, makes this NDA acceptable um, in its overall top line, and I support uh, all of my colleagues join me um, in supporting this amendment, and I yield back.